Hi guys, welcome back. It's me again, and today we're going to talk about hair extensions. So I've had a couple of you ask um, about my hair extensions. If you've been following me for a while, you've seen the process of me going from like my medium brown hair to deciding thanks mom for the idea, um, to go red. So I was shooting for like an aerial red and then as I was doing the process, I really decided that I liked this color. It's kind of like a red velvety, um, it changes in the sun, so in the sun it turns very bright red and then in like lower lighting it has more of like a mauve purple undertone, which I really like. So um, these are the hair extensions that I got. This is the half that's not in my head. I have very, very fine hair. So the point of me doing extensions was not so much for the length of my hair, um, but more just for the volume. So my hair, I just, I can't get it to grow past a certain point. My hair's always been very sensitive to hormones, um, especially after having two babies back to back. Um, my hair was very sensitive to postpartum hair and I was losing all of this hair and it's just never been the same since. So we decided to do extensions and my amazing husband uh, knew I wanted extensions so he got me a gift card to Sally Beauty for Christmas so I could get the extensions that I wanted to get. So all the products I'm going to talk about I got from Sally Beauty. Um, so these are the extensions here. They are the 14 inch clip-in. They're the human hair, so they're real human hair. And they are the Euronex collection. I'm gonna post all the info and a link to them down below in the details. Um, they are number 374107 in Platinum Blonde. Now when I went on sallybeauty.com, I couldn't find the Platinum Blonde. I think it was just like maybe Dirty Blonde. Um, online but they had it in my store so I actually bought them in store um, so they come with I think it was a total of eight clip-ins maybe ten let's see so this is curled up here so this is what they look like up close so these ones cost I think it was like 156 ish in store if you buy them online they're cheaper you also want to make sure you sign up to do um, Sally Beauty rewards because you'll get things you pay like five dollars up front for the year but you get stuff so much cheaper and especially if you're gonna do stuff like this you're gonna be buying a lot of stuff at Sally Beauty so it's totally worth the five bucks to get the discount and then you continue to get rewards um, so these are the little clippies they just pop open like that um, the gal in the store, she's my new bestie, Ashley, at my store, she was super helpful, um, she was trying to convince me to do the higher grade extensions. This is the first set of extensions I've ever had. I've always wanted extensions, I've always toyed with the idea of doing, like, more permanent ones that they, like, move up, or the tape-in ones, but again, since my hair is so baby fine, I was always really worried about, um, them pulling out my hair, like, from the root, so we're trying these guys. Um, she was telling me that the ones, they were like 30 or $40 more, but I just couldn't at that point stomach the idea of it. Um, mostly because we had just signed up Brooklyn for dance. It was just Christmas and we still had to get all of Brooklyn's dance gear. So I felt really guilty buying hair extensions and spending extra money on myself. Or no, I think they were $50 more because they were like almost 200. Um, and I just didn't want to spend that money when we still had dance gear to buy. So I just wanted to try it out but definitely next time I will go um the next level up the higher grade extensions because I can totally see the difference now that I opened these so the other extensions she calls it a track so you don't see the track right here now when these were blonde you couldn't really see this because this was a thread that was really close to the platinum blonde color once I colored it you could definitely see this whiteness. And then not so much, so the pieces that come, let me back up, with the extensions, you get four of these bad boys. So these are good for like clipping into the side here, especially since my hair is so fine up here. These are really good so I can just pop in kind of in the front placement when my hair is down um, and then hide it really well because the bigger pieces are harder. Also with my really fine hair, I have found that I want to do all my clip-ins when it's down 
either at or below the hairline because otherwise then you can kind of see them, especially in the back. The back gets scary. Um, so I have them hidden in my other four. So there's two, three. These are little one inch pieces. So those are just good to fill in the gaps. Oh, and then here's, they're everywhere. Here's four. And then I forget the sizing on them. It's like three inches, four inches, five inches, and six, I don't remember, but there's four different three clip pieces and they're all a little bit bigger than the others. So I actually labeled mine. Um, the smallest one, you can, I don't know if you can see it on there. This is a four. Um, this is the biggest piece. I didn't use this today. I use this when my hair is down, um, but I labeled them going up. So the smallest piece is the three clip smallest piece. I put it at the base of my neck here um, and then I just go up in sections from there. Um, I definitely can only wear like two of these guys. Um, I wear the smallest piece and then I think I had number th like this what I'm calling number three which is like the second highest biggest piece. Um, I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know the numbers offhand, the size. Um, but just so I can hide it better. And then I had to dye my platinum blonde extensions to get to this color, which is a little bit of a tricky uh, thing to do just because my color still has a lot of that like red velvety brown in it. So I had to do it twice. So when I colored my hair the first time, um, I used this bad boy here. This is the um, L'Oreal High Color Highlights in, I had done it, I had done it. I, no, I lied. This was the first one I used. So this was the L'Oreal High Color in Red Hot. So this is what I used um, the first time I colored my hair and I used a 30 developer. I had to do that twice and my hair still had a lot of brown in it so it had a very purpley effect to it. I waited a few days. So the first time I did it, I waited a few days and then I did it again. Like I said, it still kind of had a purpley effect to it. So then um, I waited, I think like two weeks and then I colored it again. And then um, when I colored it again, I used this one. I used the highlights the high color L'Oreal in highlights. Now that's for if you have brown or dark hair and you're going to red. If you already have blonde, then you don't wanna use the highlights. You can just use this bad boy. Um, I found that I like it in the magenta because it has more of like a pinky undertone when it washes out as opposed to an orange. And then in between hair coloring to keep it like the bright vibrant red color, I use ah, the Ion Color Brilliance Red, and I just, you can mix it in with the developer, um, but I just mix it in with like a hair mask, and then um, a little bit of conditioner, and then I let that sit on my head for like an hour. So that's what I use. Um, I also, when I touch up my hair, I do these bad boys together. This stuff is a mess. So just know that if you're doing red, this stuff is messy. Um, I have to keep uh, bleach tub spray in my bathroom and I spray down the shower because otherwise my bathroom is like baby pink all the time. So when I colored my extensions, um, I really should have done a brown extension base and then try to match my hair color that way. I probably would have been able to eliminate a step, um, but I didn't. So when I colored my extensions, I used this combo here. So I used a 30 developer and the, cause I had the highlights. So that's why I used it, even though I didn't need to, cause it was already blonde, but I used the highlights and the red. When I washed them out and I let them dry, they were red, like aerial wig red, like bright neon red, which definitely does not match my hair right now. Like in this lighting, my hair kind of looks red, but it was like Happy Meal box red. It was really bad. So I went back to Sally Beauty Supply, saw my friend Ashley, and she helped me kind of match the color. So we did um, the Ion Color Brilliance Red in number 
61R-66.6. I'll make sure I put all of these on there as well. Um, that kind of had a little bit of like the magenta E undertone to it. Um, I used two boxes of this because the extensions soak up so much hair color. So make sure you get two boxes if you're going to dye your extensions. Um, I have really baby fine hair, so I can use one box of color with developer and still have leftover. But the extensions like swallow it whole. So make sure you have enough product to cover your extensions. Otherwise, you're going to have splotches. Um, but I felt like this wasn't enough to still get this like red velvety color because um, you can see it's still kind of bright red. Um, so I decided to add in just a smidge. So I, I used two tubes of this and then about a quarter tube of this. So it's the Color Brilliance Ion in, I'm trying to read it backwards, in beautiful brunettes in a medium brown and it's 4 n 4 Point zero. I just used a smidge of this and mixed it all up with a 20 developer. Um, I could have used a 10 too. They just didn't have a 10 handy on the shelf. I didn't need a 30 or a 40 because the higher the number on the developer, the brighter the color is going to come out. Um, and it didn't really need to brighten up anymore. I just needed something to develop the color. Um, and I squirt a little bit of my hair mask in it so it's even though they're hair extensions, I still wanna make sure I take care of the hair. Um, so I mix that all up and I let it sit on the hair for like 45 minutes and it was perfection. So I'm thinking that to achieve this color, if I were to do it again, like when I buy the better extensions from the bright blonde, I'll do these two and probably squirt in a little bit of the bright red just to get that good red undertone. And I think that this would be the perfect combination. Um, but overall, so far, I'm liking the extensions. Um, I've had them, I've been using them for like a week now. I'm just finding that this like white part is hard to cover since my hair is so fine. And then on the bigger pieces, you can kind of see a little bit of the metal. So in the bright sun, if they're not covered well enough, you can definitely see the like metal shine through my hair. So I've been a little bit worried about when I'm out and about and like the like hair moving. Um, but like I said, I just got them, so I've been working on the placement. But for a good set of hair extensions, something that's human hair, I can curl it. Um, I try not to wash them that much because washing them is going to, uh, kind of wear them out faster and I'm not really doing anything gross when I'm wearing them. So I just, you know, pop them out before I go to bed and put them away. Um, excuse the kids yelling in the background. Uh, their lollipops must be gone. I bribed them to be quiet while I was trying to do the video. Um, but yeah, they're overall pretty good they hold a curl really well I mean I did this curl this morning and it's still in my hair and it was like a rainy day out so I mean of course I didn't get my hair wet because then it'll bleed everywhere but um I'm really liking them for me not having hair on my head I feel like what came in the box of extensions is more hair than what I have on my head because like I said this is half of the hair that I got and like this is what my ponytails look like on their own, but I have so much hair now with the extensions. So um, you can cut these, you can dye them. Like I said, you can um, curl them, you can flat iron them. I have my curling iron, it's already preset to 400 and these are doing fine at the 400. I know some of them you can't do past like two or 210, but these are holding up well so far. Um, and they don't look like plasticky or fake you know some of those extensions look like really shiny um they just blend really well with my hair I was actually really surprised the only thing that doesn't blend is these bad boys up here so overall I would suggest them especially for your first pair of extensions or if you want to go something more economical um like I said you can buy them on Sally Beauty sometimes they're on sale for $99 um, but their regular price, especially if you have the beauty, the Sally Beauty, um, 
membership. They were like 114 online and then in store, they were 156 and in store can't match online prices. So next time I definitely will splurge the extra $50 and get the better ones. But for now, these are doing well, they're holding up and they're not too shabby for first time extension. So if you have any questions, um, if you didn't understand anything, just send me a message. Either send me a message on here, comment below, um, send me a message on Instagram. Thanks for joining in my hair rambling and I hope that um, I answered all your questions and that it was helpful. So thanks guys and until next time, see you later.